Okay, so this is the T-Mobile G1. What you can see here is the home page with a picture someone's just taken to put in the background. You can slide left and right so that you can put different icons on the home screen. These icons can be moved around. You can even drag them off the bottom of the page. Let's just grab that till it buzzes. Just vibrates there and then you can move it and take it off the screen. If you slide up, what you can see is the full menu of the different applications on the device and again, you can drag any of those from this page onto the main home page. So just till it buzzes and you just drop it on the page. So you can make the screen what you want it to be. All your familiar Google applications are on board, so Google Mail, Instant Messaging with Google Talk and Google Maps via the GPS. Um, if you go into the browser, what you can start to see is it's 3G HSDPA supported. And if you switch to the sideways, you've obviously got a full keyboard here. Switch to menu and you've got windows and you can open a new window, search for Facebook. Just give it a couple of seconds and it's brought up the homepage link. Okay, so it's loaded up now and you can move around the page really easily, scroll left, right. You can zoom in just by pressing the plus or the minus at the bottom of the page. Really easy. And then on the bottom right there, what you've got is a little uh, enlarge button. Just press that and you can select, you can now see the whole page and you can just choose which section of the page you want to zoom in on. Back to the home page. What you might notice on the top left is you also get the notifications there. So if you have a new email or an instant message or um, a uh, text message, it'll appear on the top left. You can click on that uh, and just drag that down and you can see your new email messages and just look at them straight from that page. The key feature of this device, as well as the keyboard to, so that you can really uh, say what you want to say really easily, is the market. So the Android market is a completely open service. This isn't a retail store managed by anyone. Anyone can develop the software on the open Android system, go into applications. There we go. So you can see a list of some of the applications that are available as demos at launch. They're going to be posted up, and some of those are free. Some of them are going to be different prices depending on the developer who uh, sets the price. And as I say, you can uh, buy and sell as you want them. Another unique feature, which is the trackball. So when you want real precision when you're on a web page, You've got the trackball on the right-hand side here to just uh, choose where you want to go. Particularly useful when you're filling in forms online. Uh, use the keyboard to fill, on, fill in the form really quickly and use the trackball to get to the box that you want. And again, you can go, you've got integration with your mail. First time you log in, sets up your Google accounts and you've got your Google Mail straight in front of you. So dead easy to use if you want to communicate online because you've got the keyboard to say what you want to say. Really easy to use touch screen, trackball and the Android marketplace to make the phone exactly what you want it to be.